major breaking news out of the United States Supreme Court. It's not good news, but it's not a surprise. In the Vanderstock Black Hawk Supreme Court case dealing with the so-called Joe Biden ghost gun regulations, this afternoon, the U.S. Supreme Court granted the motion by the Department of Justice to vacate the lower court's decision to enjoin the Department of Justice, which means, bottom line, that Merrick Garland's Biden administration, Department of Justice, that sought essentially a stay of the injunction entered against the Joe Biden ghost gun rules has been thwarted. The Supreme Court has basically said, although they did not issue an opinion, but as you recall, about a month ago, in the Vanderstock case, which is a challenge out of Texas, in the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, to Joe Biden's ghost gun regulations, which are really an attempt to redefine what a frame or receiver is, and thus, by extension, to redefine what a firearm is under the Gun Control Act and the National Firearms Act. The federal district court in Texas said that this was unconstitutional and illegal under the uh, Administrative Procedure Act initially. They vacated or entered an order to vacate this ruling, which said that basically the Biden ghost gun regulation, where they redefined things for the first time in literally 50 some odd years, what should be vacated ab initio all across America. The Supreme Court in a five to four decision where Justice Amy Coney Barrett and Justice Roberts sided with the three anti-gun liberals to say, yeah, we're not gonna let you vacate that Biden administration ghost gun rule. It then went back down to the Texas Federal District Court. The Federal District Court says, I am not authorized to vacate this rule. However, nothing prevents me from entering an injunction, an injunction that specifically says that the Department of Justice cannot go after the specific plaintiffs in the Vanderstock Black Hawk case or their customers. That was the order entered, but the Department of Justice sought an emergency stay from the U.S. Supreme Court and the Supreme Court in what, it's not clear what the breakdown was, but probably another 5-4, is my guess, said that no, the injunction is not allowed to stand either. So for all intents and purposes, what this means is that the Joe Biden ghost gun regulations are the law of the land for at least the next 12 to 24 months, unfortunately. And that's too bad. Um, I'm not happy about it. Why the Supreme Court would do this is it's not necessarily an anti-Second Amendment decision. I think it's more likely that what they're thinking is one of two things is my guess. One is that the uh, this is really a business regulation case where Joe Biden is redefining guns that are affecting interstate commerce in firearms or firearm parts. And therefore they're very deferential when it comes to regulatory agencies and it, dealing with business regulation cases. That's one interpretation. The other interpretation is as a general matter, the courts do not like to get involved and override executive decisions by the president as a general matter until they get a final decision on the merits. This is all being done interlocutory as of this moment, meaning the case has not been decided finally by the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, and the Supreme Court may say we wanna wait for a final judgment before we make a final decision, which is typically how they like to do things. Nevertheless, if I were on the Supreme Court, I would not be ruling this way, but I'm not on the Supreme Court, and uh, this is what we have to deal with. It's not a catastrophic loss, it is a negative, but it may give rise to positive outcomes. This is really an important lesson for American gun owners that we may wanna consider learning more and more and more how to make our own guns, and not be dependent on others for making the guns for us. Just just uh, food for thought. So, all right, folks, uh, I'm on the road today, so I'm in the car. I apologize for this. Uh, more news coming out later today. Uh, and in the meantime, if you haven't subscribed to the Four Boxes Diner, please do so. Don't forget to follow me on X at Four Boxes Diner, and we will see you again soon here at the Four Boxes Diner. Orders up. Table 2A.